This video shows the DCC sound decoder and custom lighting installation for my Walther's Proto SW8. This locomotive has a 21-pin low sound select decoder installed with functioning headlights, ground lights, and cab light. The method shown in this video also works for similar Walther switchers such as the SW1, SW9, and SW1200. This installation is moderately difficult due to the complexity of the lights and tight spaces inside the locomotive. It isn't as simple as plugging in a decoder, but it's also not as difficult as the Athern cab car, where I had to build everything from scratch. Because this is a brand new locomotive, the first thing I have to do is to take off the plastic holders that are attached to the coupler mounting pads. I remove the bottom of the rear step handrails on each side and then swing them out of the way. Then I pinch the locomotive's hood just in front of the cab and the shell wiggles off. Be aware that the wires for the shell's rear headlight are attached to the chassis. The next thing I'm doing is disconnecting all of the wire connections going to the circuit board. Then I'm going to remove the circuit board and dummy plug to make space for the decoder and speakers. I am also removing the metal pieces between the motor and the circuit board to make more space. Here I turn the locomotive upside down and remove the fuel tank, the truck covers, side frames, and wheel sets. This is so that it is easier to install the ground lights. Ground lights are simply pre-wired 0402 LEDs as usual, but because the underframe of the SW8 is metal, I line a piece of electrical tape under the LED so that it does not cause a short circuit. There are two lights near the cab of the locomotive and two near the end of the long hood. The wires are ran along the underframe and secured with liquid tape and cyanoacrylic glue.
I use some black paint to touch up any exposed wires so that they are nearly invisible on the locomotive. Afterwards, I reinstall the wheel sets, the truck side frames, and the truck covers. I also clean off any excess oil that I got onto the trucks. The next step is tinning the circuit board. This is the same circuit board used on my custom Dash 8 project, which is the Rapido part number 82-PCB01. I secure the board to the front of the locomotive and solder all of the wiring to the board. This includes the 4 track pickup wires, 2 motor wires, 2 speaker wires, and also the wires for the headlights and ground lights. The ground lights are soldered to auxiliary 1 and auxiliary 2. I also solder in another 0402 LED to auxiliary 3, which is the cab light. The 21 pin ESU low sound select decoder is installed after all the wires are soldered in place.
The speaker I am using is ESU part number 50321, which is ESU's SugarCube speaker with a modular enclosure design. I am using the largest enclosure configuration possible for this speaker so that the sound is at its highest possible quality. The plastic parts and speaker are glued together with cyanoacrylic glue, and then it is sealed tight around the edges with liquid tape. The speaker wires clip onto the speaker, and then the speaker is secured to the top of the motor. I then disassemble the cap section of the locomotive so that I can install the LED cap light into the cap. During this assembly, I discovered the engineer figure has fallen off the cab interior, so I just glue it back in place. I insert the cab light LED through the conduit used by the rear headlight, and then pull the LED into the roof of the cab. The cab light LED is secured with white glue. I secure the extra length of wires to the shell of the locomotive with captain tape, and then put the shell back onto the locomotive. The rear piece of the shell goes back on as well, then I reassemble all of the handrails back in place. The last step is installing the couplers onto the finished locomotive. Programming the Walther's SW8 is pretty straightforward. The sound file is ESU file number 75406 which is the 6-cylinder 567 prime mover. 
I changed the DCC address to match the roll number of the locomotive, which is 7152. I mapped the ground lights to function 5 and the cab light to function 6. I also reduced the brightness of the ground lights to 5 and the cab light to 1. The Walther's SLP-8 runs very smoothly and quietly, thanks to its helical gearing design. The SW8 also has exceptional slow speed performance after I fine tune the motor back EMF parameters and adjust the speed table. I will end the video with a short clip of my Walther's SW8 in action. Thank you for watching.